And what are we reviewing today? We are reviewing Black Butler, because I'm simply one hell of an anime critic. Season one and two. Is that creepy enough? Is that a little creepy? We're talking about Black Butler! And if I didn't review this, then what kind of reviewer would I be? What's Black Butler? You know what it kind of is? It's kind of like demonic Scooby-Doo. Especially the first half, because this little boy has a demon from hell as his butler, and then he goes around and solves mysteries for the queen. It's kind of like demonic Scooby-Doo. Devil Doo. To be honest, this kind of sat around in my Netflix queue for a little while, and then I finally got around to it, and surprisingly, pretty good. I have a couple of things that I would like to get off my chest about Black Butler, but overall, not bad at all. The weird demon on boy stuff, that kind of creeped me out. Seriously, just look at the cover. Just look at the cover. That is uncomfortable. Not to mention, at one point, Sebastian is hand fucking this little boy's face. Well, that's what's happening. They really drive it home that Sebastian wants to put CL in his mouth. <laughs> Did that make you uncomfortable? Good. <laughs> that's how it makes you feel. <laughs> okay, so let me break down what's really going on. Sebastian, your butler, is a demon from hell. And this little boy, CL, who was heir to the Phantom Hive lineage or whatever, the contract between the demon and the human is, I will serve you until your revenge is complete, and then I get to eat you. That's the deal. And when I say it like that, you're like, okay, that's not so weird. But then you watch this little 12-year-old boy get eye-fucked by his butler constantly is a little off-putting. Just a little bit. So it's about CL Phantom Hive and his butler, Sebastian, and his weird, the rest of his house cleaning crew. He's got like one maid, a groundskeeper, and a cook, even though Sebastian does all of it. Sebastian is still a butler, so he has to display his butler prowess with extravagant dishes and being just awesome. The voice acting itself is pretty good. However, their accents are terrible. All of them, except for Sebastian and Ciel and Claude and the Earl Trancy, they sound fine. Everybody else has a weird, terrible accent, and it's awful. The guys from India, they sounded fine, I guess. If you wanted a stereotypical Indian sound, that's what you got. Terrible. It's a little focused on Sebastian and Ciel to almost a fault because Ciel has a fiance that you meet a few times, but it never goes anywhere and you don't really care about her even when bad stuff happens to her. Ah, Lizzie was annoying, let her die. So it's a little too focused on Ciel and Sebastian. The rest of the ensemble crew, they may as well not even be there for most of it. All of a sudden, they give you backstory on everybody, and now they make way more sense. But that doesn't happen for quite a ways into the first season. <laughs> they shouldn't have waited so long. These characters were way more interesting once the backstory happened. And I would have been satisfied if they had kind of did that in like episode 5. Season one is amazing. It has a very dark tone. It's got some lighthearted moments, but they keep them towards the beginning, which I like. I like, you know, if it's gonna go dark, it has to be happy at the beginning. And then as it goes, it gets darker and darker and darker and darker and darker. <laughs> it's dark. This little boy wants revenge for, I'm assuming, at least getting murdered, if not raped then murdered because those motherfuckers who who like did that to him were into some weird shit so i'm not surprised if he got raped then murdered then made a deal with the demon to get eaten later it's kind of heavy when you lay it out like that isn't it 12 year old he's 12 all right if sebastian technically wasn't a demon this would be pedophilia and i would suggest not watching it but he's a demon so it's okay guess 
CL is like a little dick. I don't care if he's the queen's watchdog or whatever the fuck. He's a little dick and asks the impossible from a demon butler. And the only reason he gets it done is because he's a demon. Seriously, the kitchen blows up. He's like, build new cabinets and lunch better not be late, bitch. Yes, Sebastian gets it done because he's a demon from hell, which is impressive. So there can't be just a bunch of demon butlers that really? Really? You're just demon butlers? You're a demon and you decided to become a butler? What the fuck? And apparently this is like a super common occurrence in 17th century London. You could just go out in the forest and make a deal with the demon and they'll be your butler. This is like the third or fourth demon butlering we've had here in the greater UK. <laughs> the animation is great. The music is great. The action scenes are very action-y. It's well told it's well voice acted except for the accent part of it where they're trying to do the crappy english accents and yeah may ren totally has two voices but a real voice does not sound stupid it's only that stupid voice it gets a little tna for no reason just a little and then this happens and then this happens again sebastian who has been cool and kind of like nuts over this little boy totally fucks this nun in this fucking barn for information and the way they allude to it you're like no that's not what's happening and then you totally stand between her fucking legs and he's going to town and that's what's happening i loved the season one closer what i didn't like is how it's structured on Netflix. There's an episode after the end of season one, which is the OVA, which happens in between season one and two. So they're months before doing Hamlet, which I did not like because all of a sudden now everybody's alive again. And it's like, hey, remember when everyone was alive and happy? No, bullshit, this ended badly. I prefer it that way. Don't show me happy after you just showed me profoundly sad. That's bullshit and it angers me. Don't do that. Put that shit chronologically where it's supposed to go. I get that you made the first season and then you made this to kind of, you know, hey, remember this and it was awesome and remember how everybody was alive? Fuck that! They are dead. Those bridges have been burned. This little boy's face got hand fucked and his soul got eaten. I was okay with that. And then we watched season two. And season two totally starts out fake out style because all of a sudden you're getting this new little brat who's a fucking brat and you get this other butler who's not sebastian because sebastian does not tap dance on railing claude you fucking asshole you and your gold silverware pretentious spider fuck who the fuck are these assholes and why is cl in a trunk and you're kind of hooked and you kind of are and you want to watch season two season two is not bad but then it does the same thing. They wrap it up and it's sad and you're like, oh my God! And then you get six nonsense, happy filler episodes, which I still don't like, even though they weren't terrible. That CL and Wonderland shit didn't need to be there. And if it did, in between season one and two, not at the end of season two when it ended badly again. I don't mean ended badly as in I hated the ending. I mean ended badly and that's why I liked it. I'm okay with people being broken and sad. That's awesome. Yeah, it's dark and should end badly. Don't fluff me afterwards. Overall, I found Black Butler to be mostly enjoyable. My official rating in my unofficial rating system. Watchworthy. Absolutely. Watch it for free. Enjoy. They're going to full Alchemist Brotherhood this bitch, and they're going to make another version of the anime that is truer to the manga. Because Black Butler Season 1 and 2, as we know them, are like totally different from the original source material. This thing is super popular, especially in Japan. It's already been turned into more than one musical. There was already a live action movie this January. <laughs> Video games on your DS, I don't understand how you could be the butler, but okay. Cook the eggs, murder these fools, build those cabinets. Fuck this bitch, get me info! Yes, sir. This is Annie View by Dave. I, of course, am Dave. If you have any questions, comments, confusions, or suggestions, put them below and I will get back to you. See you next time. Because I'm simply one hell of an anime critic.
17th century England, which I like. I like when animes go backwards in time. I also like when they do non-traditional Japanese stories. But when Jack the Ripper is a light-hearted story, you know it's going to get dark. And it does. Mom and dad sewn together, weird ass fucking transsexual angel. It gets dark. Weird ass cult sewing people together, bringing people back to life, killing other people. It's weird. Puppet people. The puppet people are fucking freaky as shit, okay? And his fucking weird ass fiance was almost one of them. But like I said, a little too focused on CL, so you didn't really care. The one character you kind of get more than any of the other side characters is Grell. And Grell's awesome. <laughs> Grell is hella weird. <laughs> he really is the prettiest bitch in the whole anime. <laughs> and that's saying something. And he's got a chainsaw. Suck it. Stupid reapers with their green eyes and glasses. That's their, that's their thing. They all have green eyes and glasses. That's kind of cool. Better than those dick-ass angels. <laughs> This anime reinforces the fact that you should not trust angels. You shouldn't trust demons, but you shouldn't trust angels either. Demons have always been up front, you know I'm a demon, right? You know I'm gonna try and screw you over, right? The angels are like, oh no, I would never try and fuck you over. Lies! Fuck you over! I don't know what this was, but I did it! CL as a little girl, first of all, ugly little girl. Second of all, why would you let them do this to you? You're in charge here, so let's just put myself in danger because I can call my demon butler and he can get me out of this cage while I'm about to get sold and raped again. No, you tell your butler to solve all the crimes and kill all the bad guys and make sure my dinner is ready. Why is CL's special demon power getting kidnapped? Sebastian is a terrible bodyguard. He's a fantastic butler. Terrible bodyguard. Thanks for sticking around for season three. I'm going to try and get to more of your requests this season, but don't worry. We've still got some good stuff coming up for you. Welcome back.